Hi everyone, good to speak to you this week. I don't know about you, but over these last few months I feel very disorientated and kind of the concept of time feels kind, kind of, well it's kind of gone out the window. It could be Easter, could be summer holidays, could be back camping, that'd be nice. I know it's getting colder, but I still kind of trying to work out where my head is. It's, it feels very, very difficult to, to kind of pinpoint where we are. I think one of the reasons for that is that so many of the things that we would do throughout the year that we would mark have just been so different, haven't they? That goes without saying for all of us. But this weekend we're going to celebrate harvest and we come to harvest again in a very different context to where we were last year. So we're having to rethink that and hopefully you've seen and if you haven't I would encourage you to go and have a look at the uh, my little harvest advert that I put out last week about what we're doing as a church. Harvest is an amazing time and we get to see all of God's creation around us in its full colour. And we get at this time of year, moving from after the harvest into that autumn, where yes, we see the leaves changing the colour beautifully and falling off onto the ground. But we live in that hope that God is still at work and there is so much more to come in the next season. Harvest reminds us of all the generosity that God has given to us, all the food, all the supplies, the air we breathe, the animals we have enjoy, can enjoy, the planet that we have. But it also should challenge us and point us in the right direction to continue to seek to take responsibility in a deeper way for all that God has given to us. We have a planet that is stretched to its maximum. We have a planet where we have plundered resources and wasted resources and we continue to do that. Lord help us just think this harvest of all the amazing gifts you have given us and give us that prompting to look after it in a way that brings you glory. But of course harvest for so many around our world is actually a really stressful time. In fact their lives probably depend on it so often. In places where there is drought, where there is too much rain, where there are pressures on great big companies using resources that local people actually would benefit from. There is stress and strain all around our world. That is why was the Salvation Army at Harvest, we collect uh, money as part of our giving appeal on our Harvest Sunday. And you can still do that. The money that we raise, 25% of that goes to the Salvation Army uh, in the East Midlands for new projects of mission opportunities around the East Midlands area. The other 75% is stays locally in our church. And as a church, over the last few years, we took, have taken the attitude that we want to be generous with that money. So we have often given it to other charities and this year is no different. Two charities that we are going to give to again this year, following last year's appeal, are Mercy Ships and Tools with a Mission. Two brilliant charities that I have a personal understanding of Tools with a Mission, as my dad and David Longstaff from our church have been involved with in the years gone by, and David still is. Last year we had a great collection of, to uh, of tools to send out to places in particularly in Africa, to provide toolkits and toolboxes, resources for locals to not just survive, but thrive as farmers, as carpenters, as seamstresses. Mercy Ships also has a connection with our church. John and Louise Ridley volunteered on a ship. In fact, that's where they met. And I love hearing about their experience of the blessing that they sought to bring through the act of medicine and healing on that ship to provide health care for those that can't afford it. If you haven't seen anything about it before, I'd really encourage you to look on their website. You'll hear more about Mercy Ships on Sunday as well. Our giving to these charities, these mission charities, is a way of us blessing the people of this world. Blessing people who, particularly at this moment, really need our support. 
Charities that are seeking to do a work that we ourselves need to undertake in our own community to express our thanks to God, to express our understanding and appreciation of God's generosity to us should move us to be generous ourselves. So I encourage you this harvest just to use it as a marker in our year to take stock again of who God is, his generosity and his call for us to take responsibility of caring for his amazing world.